So last summer I came across this well-used TMR mixer. Thought, well, you know, what the heck? Maybe I can get it up and running again. Found it on Craigslist. Got it at what I thought was a pretty reasonable price. Uh, to the point where I could afford to put a little bit of time, money, and effort in to get it up and running. So, uh, needless to say, it's extremely well used. As you can see, the side of it's starting to rust out. They did put a liner in it, but even the liner starting to break and fall apart. So, our work's going to be kind of cut out for us. And uh, come on around with me here and I'll show you uh, the inside of it. We can see that the main screw is really... Taking a beating, show us some extensive wear. Just another look here at the screw from the top. As you can see, the metals wore so thin that uh, it just started bending as the previous owner was using it. The center upright on it's broken and started to twist off. And the, the auger flighting is just all bent up. The knives are all bent over. You can see the plastic liner on the around the outside is also broken and falling apart. So we were able to get some of the, the mess left on the inside out of there. And we started cleaning all that out. So there's a pile of what we got out so far. Quite a bit more to go from the looks inside there. And we got quite a bit of plastic and... Uh, String cleaned off of the center auger there. So it kind of goes without saying, this thing's definitely outlived its uh, service life here. It's pretty much used up. I'm gonna try our luck at seeing if we can resurrect it, get it up and running again. I'm gonna try rebuilding the screw. Kind of start there, rebuilding the, uh, the unload chain here. And uh, once we get that accomplished, We'll try it out, see how it works, and uh, then we'll try rebuilding the entire outside tub of the, the mixer here. I'll put a link at the end of the video once we get the assembly process completed. I'll speed things up here as I try to straighten out the upper section of the auger. I'm using the overhead chain hoist to try to pull the flighting back up into position and straighten out the upper center section of the auger. So as we're straightening things out, I'm also cleaning out a lot of the debris that was trapped underneath the flighting. Working that out of the tub, out the unload conveyor. So as I'm working on this thing here, I'm having a heck of a time seeing what exactly is going on or what kind of damage has been done to this screw. So I just started kind of cutting things apart a little bit so I could bend things back and get a better idea what it was that we're working with. Well, we've got the top broken section off here. Uh, a little closer look at what we got going on here is Looks like the vertical section of this failed and the uh, webbing here cracked, broke off, and then it caused this to twist on itself. And you can see that it looks like it was failing for quite some time down there. And uh, basically, it just started wrapping up the center section kind of like a coil. Originally when I purchased this, it had so much plastic and twine wrapped around it. Kind of thought it was just the flighting had broke off the, the center section. Obviously now it's turned out to be a little bit more than what we anticipated. Now with the upper section off and things cleaned up a little bit, it was pretty apparent that wasn't going to be able to fix this screw in place. So I continued to start cutting things apart and taking this screw out in pieces so we could make a determination on what we were going to do moving forward with it. Whether it be rebuild it, buy the new one, or make one of our own.
Well, there we go. That took some doing, but we finally got that thing out of here. Be sure to click that subscribe button and follow along as we get this thing up and running.